have some great news for you guys and gals. The Armada, which is a tactical version of the Benjamin Marauder, is now regulated and semi-automatic. Here we go. So yeah, guys, I was cruising through Pyramid's website. I had no idea this was coming out, and when I saw it, I almost fell out of my chair. Seriously. This is regulated, so you're gonna have really good shot consistency. It's got a 200 bar fill, or 3,000 PSI. You're gonna get 40 shots per fill. The cylinder on this would be real easy to fill with a hand pump too. So if this is your first PCP, you can get a $40 hand pump, and you'll be able to charge this baby. So far, this only comes in 22 caliber. 29 foot-pounds, which is about average for a 22. It's gonna shoot a pellet. 950 feet per second. It's got a Picatinny optics rail on top and an accessory rail on the bottom, which you can slide back and forth. Super cool. As well, it has markings on there. And I'm pretty sure this has a whole new styling. I know for sure that the butt pad is new. So you have an adjustable cheek piece and it's adjustable for length of pull. Plus your butt pad is also gonna slide up and down if you're doing some bench rest shooting. And that's about it on hardcore stats. It's got a 24 inch barrel, five year warranty. Sounds good. It's integrally suppressed. Most of that shroud is filled with barrel except about the last inch. You guys are gonna see the sound test. This is more than backyard friendly. It's almost completely silent. And that's with no LDC. Yeah, you guys, the weight and balance on this is excellent. When I was carrying it around, I noticed right off that it was very light, and it shoulders really well, too. Definitely a well-balanced gun. Just a little bit of the description here. It says, the semi-automatic capability allows for rapid follow-up shots as fast as the shooter can pull the trigger. 10-shot rotary magazine cycles smoothly and means more time shooting and less time reloading. So you can fill it with a hand pump. And that's the same thing I said. It says that the shots are going to be incredibly consistent thanks to the regulator. And every shot will be more quiet than competing air guns because of the shrouded barrel that utilizes integral sound suppression. So yeah, you guys, this is just 66 decibels. All right. And that's with just the shroud. As it is out of the box, no silencer. So that's actually pretty cool. No LDC required. This gun has a 42-inch overall length and it weighs 7.2 pounds. All right, that's it, let's shoot it. It's got a 9.5 ounce trigger pull. So that's good for target shooting, but as well, it's not gonna go off by itself when you're walking through the forest. There it is. And that's what the inside of your barrel looks like. So you want to clean that out for the best accuracy. The shroud is just hand tightened. So just screw it counterclockwise and it'll come off. I started pulling my patches two or three times because I'm just a cheapskate. But there's my patches from dirty to clean. Like I said, it shoulders really well. And the length of pull and cheek piece is adjustable. It actually comes with an extra piece. So you can even get another three inches or so out of your length of pull. Those adjustment pieces right there are full aluminum too. So it's a nice sturdy setup. This barrel band is not actually touching the shroud anywhere. So I know some of you guys like to buy barrel bands. So this one could actually use one even though you see one right there. But yeah, it's definitely not touching. It's got a good two millimeters all the way around it. So coming up the bottom of this gun, just wanted to show you right here under the trigger guard, you got the fire and safe, just in case you forget. All right, so this is semi-auto. Can't even see what's going on there. It's going back and forth though super fast. the gas coming out so you do have to reset the trigger 
for the next shot. Right there, just reset. Just go. Keeps on going. And I'm guessing that under this cap right here, oh, it's an unscrew. Boom. That's a one half UNF foster fitting, so no fill probe required for this Tacta Awesome air gun. So we got some, we'll just call it styling there, but you know, it saves weight, a little bit of cutout, and on the bottom, look at that. Numbered markings for your pick rail. Wow, that's awesome. So that's a nice sliding system right there. All right, so to cock it, we're just gonna grab this charging handle like this, pull it back and release. Hit that if you need to. This is your safety right here. 3,000 PSI, 200 bar gun. If we could put a hand grip right here. Nice grip, ergonomic grip. And as well, back here we got a nice rubber butt pad. This is thick, soft rubber. And it looks like that's adjustable as well. So yeah, you just loosen that and you can slide that baby up and down. All right, I'm about to install my Helix scope on this bad boy. And I went through all my metric Allen keys and they were all too big or too small. I definitely want to pull this buttstock out at least a couple inches, but it turns out that these are a SAE 3 30 seconds. So you're probably going to want to pull that out a teeny bit. All right, you guys, we've got about three mile an hour winds today. I'm going to do some chronograph testing. Now, my last video, I got two comments that said, hey man, why don't you do your sighting in off camera, <laughs> you know, and then uh, just start with a sighted in. So we're not going to do the part where I show the play-by-play -play of the chron chronograph, but I'm going to show you a few shots from each one, and we're going to test the different pellet speeds all the way up to 33 grain. And then we'll get on to our 35-yard accuracy testing. Crossman Premiers are traveling at 890 feet per second, which is actually the perfect pellet speed. Rally Sports, we have 835 feet per second. They did not shoot good. The 14.35 grains shot almost exactly the same speed. I think it was like 825. But they also did not shoot very good. The 15.89 grain JSB Reds were also a pellet that this gun did not like. At 821 feet per second, the Hades were also not a winner for this gun. As well, this gun did not prefer the 16 grain FX pellets. The preferred pellet for this gun is the 18.13 grain JSB, but they shoot very well out of this gun. 18.1 grain FX. Not so much. 25.4 grain FX, 641 feet per second. And 628 feet per second on the redesigns. Those are about the biggest pellets you're going to fit in this magazine. The 33.95 grain were actually too big for the magazine. So we're going to go ahead and do some accuracy testing with the Crossman Premiers and the 18.1 grain JSBs. But first here's a shot string to give you a little idea of the 18.13 grains. As you can see, it's pretty consistent, and it definitely shoots these very accurately. It does get about 35 to 40 shots per fill right on the money, just like it says. And I'm being completely honest with you that I tested all the pellets extensively, and this is the only pellet that you want to buy for this gun, okay? And the Crossman Premiers. So you can get your dime-sized grips with these JSB 18.13 grains, as you guys will see in a second here. That is so crazy because I tried every single pellet and slug that I have, like 11 of them. And these were the only ones that did good, but look how good they did. I just shot the first 10 on, we're filming the complete shot string. Let's check it out. Oh, that is so sweet. All right, so this is my second to last shot right here that I screwed up because I thought I might be out. That's literally a dime. No, that's a nickel. Actually, that's a dime from center to center right there, if you don't count that fly fly. 
And that was awesome. I just emptied a whole clip into like a dime, 35 yards. But that's the only pellet that will do that. All right. This board is like a mess from pellets that didn't make the cut. But actually that's the Crossman Premiers right there on my first try. So we're gonna be going with the Premiers and the 18 grain JSBs. And you can get consistent quarter size groups with the Crossman Premiers, which are half the price. So here's a shot string with the Crossman Premiers real fast. And we're gonna go ahead and put both of these pellets on paper at 35 and 50 yards. One thing I love about Crossman and Premiers, other than being available everywhere, like at Walmart, so you don't have to order them online, and being half the price of all the other pellets, they're also made of a slightly harder lead so that the skirts just never deform. When you open a can, you're never gonna find a bent skirt, ever. So, it's one cool thing about them. I'm guessing this gun is regulated right around 1600 PSI. So after about 35 shots, after the 1600 PSI mark, the gun will basically drop off the regulator and you'll see a significant decrease in your FPS. You just wanna refill when you get to 1600 PSI. Looks like some ants showed up to watch the show. We got the Armada Semi-Auto. That are very special. 36 yards away, we're going to test out these two. This is the only pellet that this gun likes. And I shot about a dime-sized group, 10 shots, except one flyer. This one, about a quarter-sized group at 35 yards. But let's do it again. It's pretty much calm today. It shouldn't be more than uh, one or two mile an hour winds. 18.13 grain JSB. Let's sight in on this little team one. It's about a quarter inch bullseye. Pretty close. I started to get extremely nervous after I get two or three through the same hole. But yeah, not bad, eh? I should click down a little bit, but let's see what happens here. <laughs> nice. So there's one magazine, you guys, of the 18 grains. So you can order these 18.13 grain pellets at Pyramid Air. Put four in your basket, you only have to pay for three. But now we're gonna move on to pellets you can get anywhere, the Crossman Premiers. All right, just to be fair, I, I topped the gun off again, so we're back at 3,000 PSI. We're gonna shoot a magazine of Crossman Premiers. I gotta be able to find my middle dot in that orange section so I can hold it there. There it is. I'm having to use the force on this one. I'm gonna go to another bullseye. But yeah, nice consistent, you know, one inch right there on a bad day. So if you're just plinking, these are fine, they're half the price. Obviously that's an awesome group. 18.13 grain JSB right there. Crossman Premier, 36 yards. Not bad for semi-auto. So there's actually science behind the groups that we shoot on this channel. So check it out. Right now, 7 a.m. East winds at one mile an hour. Check out eight o'clock. Zero, yo. So my app tells me when it's gonna be calm. And so yeah, I had this all planned out. That's how the pros do it. All right, this time we're at a very special 
53 yards. Perfect. There we go. I'm going to bump my power up to 12. There we go. This party started 53 yards. We're only going to do the 18 grain JSBs right now. No limit scope range time. Yeah, we're sighted in. It was me, so I got five shots. Let's see here. Darn it. We're gonna have to go again. All right, that first group was uh, me being nervous and tense, so this time I'm just gonna be real, real relaxed and just not even care. There we go. I'll take that. Not bad. Got five more. Darn it. Yeah, this gun doesn't care if you're shooting slow or fast. I found that when I was messing with it yesterday. Pulling the trigger as fast as you can or waiting a few seconds between shots, you're going to get the same exact accuracy. This is actually about a quarter size bullseye right there. So yeah, we got a quarter size group. And for the most part consistent too. No crazy flyers. So that's what you want, reliability. As long as you know where your group, what you can count on, then you can make your decisions, you know, according to that. One really important thing about um, the Armada and the Marauder semi-auto is that when you remove the magazine, there's still a pellet in there, so don't think your gun's empty because it's not. Definitely not. Anyway, a pellet came out. So that's one safety concern. Remember, when you remove the magazine, you still have a pellet stuck inside the barrel. As well, like when you load your magazine and you let this down, the first pellet is in the barrel. So that's just how it works. The other thing it said in the manual was that that two millimeter gap that's all the way around your shroud your shroud should never be touching your barrel band it says to check it every once in a while if it is touching your barrel band at any section then you need to adjust it all right it's been a long time since we did some plinking on this channel i'm always trying to get these groups on paper and get the you know what out so anyway i'm going to take the time to do a little plinking shoot some uh stuff off everyone's heads and uh we got a lot of targets here, so let's do this.
There we go. I got good at it at the end there. It's definitely a well-performing gun with the right ammo. The 18 grains and the uh, Crossman Premier's right there. So grab yourself some of those and a semi-auto Marauder, and I'm guessing you'll be pretty happy. All right, that's it for me on this one. We got a lot more guns coming your way. I appreciate everybody tuning in. Happy shooting. We'll see you on the next one.